Assalamualaikum friends welcome to my youtube channel wow tech uh, so please friends subscribe my youtube channel to watch the all tech related videos and tech information and uh, here we are going to discuss about uh, do 18 wheeler accident lawyers offer free consultations so information for this is here in the uh, screen you can see and uh, I will discuss also about it. Many 18 wheeler accident liars offer free initial uh, consultations to potential clients. During these consultations, uh, you can discuss your case, provide details about the accident, and ask questions about the legal process the purpose of free consultation is to assess the merits of your case and determine if you and your attorney are good fit for working together uh, it means it is just an initial step uh, uh, without any pay uh, payment uh, here is what you can typically expect during uh, free consultation uh, with 18 wheeler accident uh, it means uh, uh, during free consultation uh, the 18 wheeler uh, accident attorney provide you uh, these helps uh, you can see that case evaluation is the first point here on the screen the uh, liars will listen to your account of accident and gather information about the circumstances uh, injuries and damages involved and the next one is legal advice they will provide you with initial legal advice uh, regarding your potential claim and strengths and weakness of your case uh, uh, after it the third point and the fourth point is here on the screen discussion of uh, fees and questions and uh, concerns uh, first uh, we will see that uh, uh, discussion fees the attorney will explain their fee structure uh, typically based on contingency fee uh, where they only get paid if you win your case they will also uh, discuss any potential expenses and uh, costs associated with uh, the case uh, next one point questions and uh, concerns uh, you can ask my questions you have about the legal process uh, the lawyer's experience and how they plan to handle your case. Uh, after it, we will see point five: uh, assessment of viability and the next steps. Uh, uh, the attorney will assess the viability of your case and uh, discuss the potential. Uh, outcomes and challenges you may face uh, next step and the, the sixth one point is here if you decide to hire the attorney they will outline next step in uh, legal process including uh, gathering uh, evidence filing claims and uh, negotiations uh, it is important uh, to take uh, advantage of free consultation uh, with uh, potential attorneys uh, to get a better understanding uh, of your options and uh, to find an attorney who is experienced, knowledgeable and someone you feel comfortable working with. Uh, before scheduling a consultation, you can also inquire about attorney's policies regarding fees, uh, expenses and uh, any documents or information uh, you should bring to the meeting. Uh, 
to make the consultation as productive as possible and uh, then we will see how is liability uh, determined in a truck accident case uh, the information about uh, it is here determining liability in a truck accident case can be complex and typically involves thorough investigation to establish who is at fault for accident liability can be attributed to one or more parties involved in accident including the truck driver the trucking company Uh, maintenance uh, contractors are other third parties here are the key steps and uh, factors considered in determining liability uh, first of all accident uh, investigation should be there and the next one point is police reports a comprehensive accident investigation is essential this may include gathering evidence uh, from accident scene interviewing witness and collecting data from trucks electronic control module uh, it, it means ecm also known as black box and the next one uh, police reports the officially accident report prepared by law enforcement uh, officers can provide uh, valuable information and initial uh, assessment of fault next truck uh, drivers uh, actions here is the information about it is the truck drivers action the truck drivers action leading up to and uh, during the accident uh, are critical focus factors such as speeding reckless uh, driving uh, distracted uh, driving impairment uh, due to alcohol or drugs and drivers fatigue can all contribute to liability uh, next one hours of service violations federal regulations govern the number of hours a truck driver can operate without taking mandatory rest breaks violations of these hours of service regulations can be uh, significant factor in determining the uh, liability and the next one point uh, is here uh trucking company liability uh, the trucking company may also be a responsibility if they failed to properly maintain the truck conducting inadequate background checks or training for their drivers are violated safety regulations they can be held liable and the next one point is maintenance and repairs if faulty maintenance or repairs on the truck or its components played a role in accident the maintenance contractors or repair facility may share uh, liability uh, so this was all the information i have to share with you so please subscribe my youtube channel uh, to Uh, know all this type of informations and click the bell icon